Hopkinton's Josh Sokol took home the Division II state championship. Sokol won the decision 8-2 in the 285-pound bout against Stoughton's Brian Nguyen. Sokol then gave Barnstable's Owen Murray all he could handle as they went three overtimes before Murray took the meet. HCAM News recently caught up with the state champ, Josh Sokol. Well, Josh, congratulations, you're a state champion. How did it feel to win that state title? Um, you know, it felt good. Uh, all the hard work paid off, you know, uh, with the coaches and the teammates. Um, you know, throughout the season we trained hard and off season, uh, pretty rigorous, but, you know, we got to it and um, setting the goals high for next year. Now, how tough was it to get to that level and how much uh, preparation did it take to come home with the state title? Well, um, all year, you know, we've been training hard, so um, it, mentally it's there, but, you know, you just got to take it. Uh, it's there for the taking for anyone, but, uh, you know, when you're dead in the practice room and, uh, you know, you're trying to get better, you know, you're doing those sprints, you're winning, you know, you find the kid you want to target and beat every time in the practice room, you know, you take it out on the mat, and uh, it's a lot easier to win those tough matches in the third period uh, and, you know, get the, team, get the team win when you need it the most. All right, so what's in store uh, for you the rest of uh, this year and, the next, and next year as well? Uh, you know, I lost in the, the All-State Finals and I lost in the New England Finals, so second place means I work twice as hard, so that's about it. The Hopkinton Hillers head wrestling coach, Tim Nelson, talked to HCAM News about what was a very successful season. It was a great year overall. I knew coming in that we were going to have a strong returning cast. Um, but how hard the kids work and how healthy we stay decides on how far we go as a team. Um, qualify the postseason, we had 11 kids qualify for the state tournament, which is the most in team history. Uh, we had two kids placed in the uh, state tournament, which is the second time in team history we've had multiple state place winners. Uh, we had a state champion, Josh Sokol, our heavyweight, who went on, uh, went on to be a New England finalist, which is the uh, single best season of any Hopkinton wrestling um, individual. That's quite unbelievable. Um, now, uh, 11 of 14 Hopkinton wrestlers placed in the top four in the sectionals, uh, which says to me the overall talent on this team, very well-rounded. Uh, what was it like to coach this squad this year, and what led to so much success? Um, it was great coaching these kids. Um, it's been a work in progress. I've been at it for 10 years now. I've been the head coach here, and over the first 10 years, we had a lot of individual standouts, but it, it took uh, till a couple years ago to have... Um, strong top to bottom team and last year we actually won our first sectional title um, as a team with actually no individual champions so that speaks volumes of the kids um, and the team effort that they put in and then this year to have 11 kids uh, almost doubling our number of six uh, last year is uh, speaks volumes we ended up placing second as, in it, as a team in the section um, to the eventual state champs in the Shoba Regional we only finished 10 points behind them which in a wrestling tournament is actually a pretty narrow margin so that was great to uh, see the kids really pull together for each other. Now coach uh, multi-sport athlete Josh Sokol took home a state championship in the 285 pound weight class. Can you talk about Josh and the season he had? Uh, Josh had a great year. Um, we've known since his freshman year the talent that he had. Um, last year he ended up placing fourth in the section and fourth in the state and I uh, lost a couple tough ones at the All-State Tournament that ended his season, but we knew the potential was there, and he continued to work hard and grew into his body a little bit. And To go from fourth in the state to the New England Finals is an extremely, extremely big jump. Um, couldn't be prouder. Josh works hard all year. He's a um, two-sport athlete. He's a uh, successful football player as well. So to go from uh, training in August for football right into wrestling season because there's no break. They have the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day game and we start wrestling the Monday after Thanksgiving. So he'd really been at it for uh, more than half the year. So to see him that focused in the end of February and early March competing for an All-State and New England title uh, says a lot about Josh, and I'm very proud of him. Well, he certainly didn't seem to lose anything uh, going right into wrestling from football. Uh, now, Coach, what's in store for the uh, rest of this year? What will you be doing? Uh, uh, for the wrestling program, Do you, is there going to be recruiting going on or anything like that? Uh, we, well, we always try to. Um, I'm not in the school, so it's tough for me to get hands on as far as the recruiting. Um, but the wrestling family that we've built over the last 10 years really helps with our recruiting because the kids in the school see how tight knit our kids are and how much fun they have together. So that alone gets us kids. Um, and then 
late in the fall, I try to get in here and try to recruit as many kids as possible. But as for the off season, we have a good amount of guys returning that are doing off season wrestling. They go to local clubs, uh, the Metro West United Club based out of Ashland, and um, Josh and some of the other kids go up to the uh, Doughboy Club in Lowell, which is one of the best clubs in uh, New England. So to have some of our better core guys doing something in the off season um, means that we should be pretty strong coming back next year.